I beat Minecraft without the inventory. But before that, hello, my name is Paganism, I'm the permanent damage guy. Consider subscribing if you enjoyed the video, and let's get started. I mysteriously woke up in a sunflower field, and like any other confused person, started picking some flowers. I dropped them soon after, and started beating the stem of a much larger plant. However, it didn't take long for me to realise that I am not, in fact, telekinetic. Wait, I can't craft without a crafting table. 6.5 thousand blocks. Anyway. Once I was no longer consumed by dismay, I stumbled 6 kilometers in hopes of learning why I exist. I didn't find that out, however, I did yoink some lovely things along the way. After a long and numbing experience, I eviscerated every log I saw, and stared down a crafting table. By simply just looking at this, I immediately knew how to make 64 more. Oh. By just simply looking at this, I knew exactly how to make 32 more. I'm not telekinetic, so if that's just gonna be in the void of my mind now, I guess... Why was my 10th birthday in a lumberyard? After killing someone for being short, I wandered back down the route I took to get here, remembering that there was an interdimensional portal and were more short people that I needed to not talk about to avoid making Twitter angry. After making the end of my iron pickaxe blunt, I ran a few hundred blocks to get some lava. I then entered the nether and decided to go for a stroll. Oh, the joys of constant fear and anxiety, wandering through a withering wasteland. Before my vision went blurry and my memory was wiped, I had traded with some piglins and played hopscotch shit on some basalt spires. But let's take a step back, let me show you the catastrophic events of what I was just referring to. Oh my god, this isn't the damage taken challenge. I looked around in disarray, I had this faint recollection of another lifetime, but my doctor told me I was a paranoid schizophrenic so I didn't put too much thought into that. The only thing I was thinking about was <laughs> the house rice right paralysis demon. I brought the property of some random ruins and took shelter under a neighbouring forest, memorising the location of a lava pool and sure if I was under siege or not. After getting blown, up by creepy, you dirty minded freak, I went to cry myself to sleep in an igloo and got a fresh reminder that crafting tables can spawn inside these. I made 16 crafting tables, attempted to go mining, and found a village. I pillaged the village and mined some iron before having some flashbacks. For whatever reason, I was still under the impression that I w just couldn't take damage. I killed the iron golem and played chicken with this polar bear before realizing that I could just simply stab it. I know I'm jumping from thing to thing, but I literally speed around this challenge. If I wasn't if I wasn't walking or wandering around, I was doing something. I made like I made no stupid like jokes or detrimental mistakes. But I am noticing a theme being that if I actually pay attention to what I'm doing, the challenges seem to be pretty goddamn easy. Like Minecraft without jumping, there is no thought behind my eyes. After a mad dash through the nether, I found a treasury bastion. Going in the main room seemed like a death sentence, so I did a bit of trolling. I then also started trading with a single piglin on the roof, which took so damn long. But I guess we're also just going to gloss over my looting two sword. Three minutes. There isn't even three minutes between me leaving the bastion and getting all of the rods. I walked out of the bastion and within a minute discovered the nether fortress. My luck is turning around. This is what we in the biz call foreshadowing. I returned to the Bastion to kill Paradox Incarnate, and took a brisk walk out of hell. Damn, that was quick. My not girlfriend would know. Why did I just diss myself? After about 15 minutes of mindless walking and a misclick, I found the stronghold, well, almost. This was the first time in a long time I'd seen the stronghold not being under the ocean or a village, so once my surprise ended, I cleared as much of my inventory as I possibly could and began to excavate a path down into the stronghold. Because I can't put stuff in the void of my mind, every time I encountered a new resource, I would have to do this. I had found the stronghold and started walking around, and to some casual player, they might not see anything wrong with this. However, I, as a long-time player of the craft, realized something was off. This is fucking evil! If this didn't happen to me in the damage dealt challenge, I would have no idea. By the way, me and the stronghold is 30 minutes of footage. I finished the challenge in 2 hours. Now I'm realizing I shouldn't have said speedrun. I hiked my way up to the surface, collected my bed, a crafting table, and some snowballs, and was considering not making a pickaxe and just leaving the materials outside in case I somehow lost my stuff. Then I just decided, screw it, what have I got to lose? The answer would have been my sanity. It's anticlimactic, but that's that. <laughs> 